All right, next up, let's take a look at some stoichiometry using the ideal gas law, right? So we know that PV equals NRT. So you can see here we have moles, we have moles. So if you had pressure, temperature, and volume, you could use these, mol uh, these values to figure out how many moles of whatever you're talking about. So you can see it can be used as kind of a conversion factor sort of thing. It's not really a conversion factor, but you can use the equation to go from these properties to moles. So let's take a look at an example. You have two of these galliums plus six HCLs reacting to form some gallium chloride. and some hydrogen gas, right? H2, it's a diatomic gas. So a question you might be asked is what volume of H2 at 27 degrees Celsius and 723 torr would you produce? Upon reaction of 8.88 grams of gallium and excess HCl, right? So it's a conversion problem, uh, stoichiometry type of problem. So think about what we want. In this case, what we want is volume of H2. So liters of H2 or milliliters, some kind of unit of volume and H2. Think about what we have. First up is this 8.8 .8 grams of gallium, right? We have that right there. Another thing we could look up in terms of gallium is the molar mass. So go ahead and take a second, look that up. You can use a periodic table. You should get 69.723 grams per mole. Let's see. So we're giving. And then we're also given 27 degrees Celsius, 723 torr as well. So some additional pieces of data. So let's think about how we can use that. Well, we've got temperature, we've got pressure, we want volume. So we can think about a PV equals NRT type of setup and see what we have currently and what we still need to get. So let's see, we have the temperature, we gotta convert it later, but we have the temperature. We have the pressure, so that's good. We want the volume in the end, so don't have that yet. This is R, that's a constant, we always have R. And then we gotta think about N, well, and maybe we could figure out, and we have grams, we've got molar mass, we've got some stuff going on there. So we could figure out N. So let's go ahead and start going at this. So the first thing we always wanna start off with is with the thing that's not a conversion factor. So currently that's our 8.88 grams of gallium. All right, and then we're gonna to try to convert it and eventually get to moles. We want moles. And what we're talking about is H2, right? Because once we get moles of H2, we can get volume, right? So that's the kind of the, the idea here. So next thing we've got grams, we're gonna change it to moles. So we got grams up there, so 69.723 grams over moles. Cancel out these units. Now we're talking about moles of gallium, but we don't want moles of gallium. We want moles of H2. We want moles of H2. Let's, so let's see how much H2 this means. And to figure that out, what we need to use is our mole to mole conversions. Right? So we can see for every two galliums, we produce three H2s. So, yeah, shoot, I already used blue. Go with red, I guess. So two, oh, it's pink. So two galliums or two moles of gallium is equal to three moles of H2. So let's go ahead and use that so we can get to our H2. So 
So we have gallium up top, so it goes on the bottom. So two gallium, three H2, gallium and gallium cancels out. Now we get our moles of H2. So if you plug and chug through that, pause the video, plug and chug, you get this many moles of H2. And now we can take this number and we can plug it into our N here. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we want to solve for V, so let's reorganize this, divide both sides by P, NRT over P, and then think about what all of these units are going to be. Uh, so your moles here, that's from your H2, so 0 0.1910 moles there. R upcoming next is the gas constant, 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres moles Kelvin, the temperature, be careful of the temperature, right? We have Kelvin here, so this temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So let's check it out. We had, what piece of data was that? 27 degrees Celsius. We can go ahead and convert that to 300 Kelvin. 0.15 Kelvin. So plug that in there. And then we're going to divide that by the pressure, which we're giving here as 723 torr. But you have to be careful here, it's an atmosphere. So we have to convert that 723 torr, 760 torr in an atmosphere. And so you get 0 0.9513 atmospheres. Plug that in down here. Plug and chug your way through. You get 4.94 liters. So that's how much AC you can get. So practice your stoichiometry. You should be pretty familiar with this kind of stuff. We're just now inserting this PV equals NRT into it. Um, if you're looking for more examples to, to kind of be walked through, check out these examples in your chapter in OpenStax and of course the homework.